Hi, my name's Steve and I work on the support desk at Software of Excellence. Today we're going to go through how to add a new NHS contract onto your exact system. As a side note, this video is just for adding a new NHS contract. If you have an existing contract you'd like to roll over, please see the description below for a link to that video. Before following any of these steps, it would be best to log in as either a super user or administrator, just to make sure that you have access to all the areas that we would need to complete this task. First of all, we need to go to File, up in the top left corner of Exact. In the drop down, we select the option for NHS contracts. From this screen here, we go down to the bottom right corner where we see this plus one button. Click on that and a window will pop up on the screen. This is where you enter the details of your contract that were given to you by the NHS. First, we need the contract number. This is the 10 digit number and it goes just in this field here. It may be that the board provided this as a six digit number to be followed by a four digit tag. And then put this down on the letter. Enter these two together. Then we specify if the contract is for claiming UDAs or UOAs. After that, we specify the dates for the contract, the date it starts and the date it finishes. Next, we specify the total target amount for your NHS contract. Moving on from that, we'll begin adding a provider on. We'll just do one in this example. So down in the bottom right here, we'll press this plus one button. This will bring up another window where you have to specify what provider you're adding onto the contract. The start and finish dates will populate automatically, but you should really leave them as the same dates as your contract anyway. And then finally, you just specify the target that you would like this provider to claim on this contract. Once you're happy with that, press OK. If you do get a pop-up here asking you to correct this provider's rotor, just click Ignore for now and we can come back to this in another video. Now I'll take you back onto the contract creation screen and if you're happy with all of these details that you've put in, you can press OK on that as well. This will create your new contract, which will appear at the top of the list of your existing contracts, as you can see here. That's it for this video. If you have any thoughts or feedback, please leave it in the comment section below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.